The England national football team, known for its star-studded roster, has witnessed the rejection of potential players who decided not to play for the team, but another. In today's video, I'll talk about 12 notable footballers who, despite being eligible, chose alternative national allegiances. Number 1. Jamal Musiala At just 17, Jamal Musiala secured a spot on Bayern Munich's team. With a Polish mother and British Nigerian father, but born in Germany, he had the option to play for Nigeria, Germany, England or Poland. For that reason, his career saw a shifting national allegiance, moving through England's under-15 team to Germany's under-16s and returning to England's youth system after joining Bayern. England had hoped to secure his international commitment, but on February 24, 2021, Musiala chose Germany. His decision, he explained, came from a steady pull towards the country of his birth, Germany. He made his debut for their national team just a month later. Number 2. Alex Awobi Alex Awobi had a big choice to make, just like Jamal Musiala. Even though he grew up playing football in England and even won a tournament with their youth team, his heart pulled him in a different direction. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, and having family there, including his well-known uncle, JG Okocha, a football legend, Alex felt a strong connection to his roots. In 2015, he made a clear decision. Instead of continuing to play for England, he chose to represent Nigeria at the senior level in international competitions. Simply put, his family was in Nigeria, he was born there, and it felt right to play for the country that meant so much to him and his family. His decision wasn't based on strategy or politics, but on a genuine, personal connection to his home country. In an interview, he said, My family are all from Nigeria. I was born in Nigeria, and my uncle JJ Okocha is a legend in Nigeria, so I made the decision to switch. Number 3. Gareth Bale Gareth Bale has always been all about Wales. Even when he was a young football player, he knew he only wanted to play for his home country. His agent once suggested maybe playing for England instead. But Bale was so against the idea, he told his agent to never mention it again if he wanted to keep his job. Bale even had a famous saying showing what's important to him. Wales, golf, Madrid. In that order. He was the captain of Wales' senior team before retirement, and it just felt right. It's safe to say his dedication to his country is both strong and clear in every game he's played. Number 4. Scott McTominay Scott McTominay rose to prominence with Manchester United in 2017. He had conflicting choices in international football due to his English birth and Scottish parentage, as he could play for either country. England didn't rush to call him up, possibly due to their already strong midfield. His club manager at the time, Jose Mourinho, saw an opportunity and nudged him towards Scotland, even telling Scotland's coach Alex McLeish to snatch him up because England was letting him slip through. However, in March 2018, McTominay played for Scotland and expressed his long-standing desire since childhood to do so. Number 5. Erling Haaland Erling Haaland could have played for England or Norway because of where his parents were born. His dad, Alfing Haaland, was well known in English football during the 90s, playing for several Premier League teams. Erling was born in Leeds, England, while his dad was playing there, which gave him the choice of representing England or his parents' country, Norway, in international competitions. Despite the potential of possibly winning more with England, Erling chose Norway. To him, the decision was more about homeland pride than chasing trophies. Number 6. Wilfred Zaha Wilfred Zaha was born in the Ivory Coast, but moved to London when he was only four, meaning he could play international football for England or his birth country. Initially, he leaned towards England, even playing for its youth teams and twice for the senior team, thanks to a call-up from then-manager Roy Hodgson in 2012. However, those senior games weren't competitive matches, so when Zaha decided to switch to represent the Ivory Coast in 2016, FIFA approved it without a hitch. Since then, Zaha has proudly represented Ivory Coast in three international tournaments. Number 7. Mikel Antonio Mikel Antonio's journey through international football has been quite the adventure. Born in London to Jamaican parents, he was eligible to play for either England or Jamaica. In 2016, his dream of playing for England seemed on track when he turned down Jamaica and soon got called up for an England World Cup qualifier. Though he stayed on the bench, the call-up was a promising step. A year later, another call-up was dashed due to an injury. By 2021, Antonio's focus shifted towards Jamaica, and he aimed to aid their quest for the 2022 World Cup. Despite being left out of a squad, passport delays, and finally, COVID-19 travel restrictions, Antonio persevered. At 31, he made his competitive international debut for Jamaica in September 2021. Number 8. Adnan Yanuzai Adnan Yanuzai's path to international football wasn't exactly straightforward. Before 2014, he had multiple options for his international career. Belgium, Kosovo, Turkey, Serbia, and Croatia. 
but one by one, they fell off. Kosovo wasn't in FIFA's books at the time, so they were out. Adnan's father eliminated Serbia, Turkey, and Croatia, stating that there were no genuine connections there. Although Adnan's Kosovar Albanian parents were fond of the idea of him playing for Albania, they found the Albanian approach lacking in professionalism. So, Belgium remained. But then England entered the scene, eager to secure Janusaj to their team. As a resident in England since 16, Adnan could nationalise as a UK citizen and get a prompt call-up from manager Roy Hodgson. But that English call never truly enticed him. Instead, in 2014 he chose Belgium and flew to Brazil that year to play in the World Cup amidst the array of national allegiances. Number 9. Matty Cash Born in England, Matty Cash has Polish roots through his mother. In 2021, his connection motivated him to secure a Polish passport in his desire to represent Poland on the international stage instead of England. Not long after expressing his interest, a call came from the Poland national team. In November of the same year, he donned the white and red, making his debut in a World Cup qualifier against Andorra. His transition to the Polish side was straightforward and with relatively little drama, contrasting with the more dramatic international affiliations of some other players, like Mikel Antonio. Number 10. Adamola Lukman Born in London to Nigerian parents, his dual eligibility enabled him to represent either England or Nigeria on the global stage. Lukman's early career leaned distinctly towards England, with the Leicester City forward representing the nation in under-19s, under-20s and under-21s matches. Despite meeting with the Nigeria Football Federation president in 2018 and enduring multiple appeals, Lukman remained steadfast in his inclination towards England, even after the NFF declared in 2020 that Lukman would represent Nigeria at the senior level, he affirmed his aspirations to play for England. However, the narrative took a twist. After three rejections towards Nigeria, Lukman made a surprising U-turn, submitting a request to FIFA to switch his allegiances. Once approved, his earlier dreams of playing for England faded into the background. In March 2022, he stepped onto the field as a Super Eagle, making his debut against Ghana in a World Cup qualifier. Number 11. Ryan Giggs Born in Cardiff to Welsh parents, Giggs went to school in Salford and represented England at schoolboy level in 1989, captaining the team nine times and beating Wales 4-0 on one occasion. But Giggs made his debut for the Welsh national team in 1991, robbing England of a solution to the infamous left side problem. I'd rather go through my career without qualifying for a major championship than play for a country where I wasn't born or which my parents didn't have anything to do with, Giggs said in 2002. Number 12. Victor Moses Moses, born in Nigeria, moved to a foster family in South London at 11 after his parents were killed and Kaduna's religious riots. His football skills were nurtured at Crystal Palace, leading him to represent England from under-16 to under-21 levels. However, 2011 marked a shift when Moses, along with Shola Amiobi, decided to play for Nigeria. He participated in two World Cups for the Super Eagles, notably scoring a penalty against Argentina in the 2018 Russia tournament. There you have it. These instances show how football players are influenced by heritage, family ties and personal connections in making career-related decisions while neglecting the England team. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more similar content.